we are in Terlingua, Texas. Terlingua is a famous ghost town, so a lot of people come here just to try to explore like what is a ghost town. Terlingua itself means three tongues, so there are three different communities that was thrive in the early 1900s. Study Butte, proper Terlingua, and Lajita? Lajitas, yeah. The Chisas Mining Company established here in the late 1800s, yep. and it just boomed all the way until the Second World War in the 1940s, and it got abandoned. Terlingua is the base town for the uh, Big Bend National Park, which yeah. is not far from here. Yeah, just a few miles away, we'll get into Big Bend National Park. What is the plan today? We are going to... Did you just about to call me Kana? <laughs> He just about to call me I Kana. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so, so what are we planning to do today, Michael? We are going to go around here and sort of do a little bit of a scavenger hunt. We figured that was kind of the way to do it because it's a big, vast area, little things around town that we're going to show you so that if you decide to come to the Terralingua area or Big Bend National Park, maybe some of the stuff that we find today can help you plan your trip. So there's a list. I we already have, have a list. list what I'll, to do. I always got a list. <laughs> so let's get in the van. Let's go. Ready to go, Kana? What was that about? <laughs> Alright, let's go, Kana. So right behind me is the Rio Grande River, which means on the other side of it is Mexico. U.S. Rio Grande Mexico. And this area is called the Big Bend State Park. Not to be confused with the National Park. It does look different because it's not as deserty as the uh, National Park. You want to go to Mexico? You want to go to Mexico? <laughs> you know, the Rio Grande is not that big, is it? No, not in this part of the river. No walls. No checkpoints. Hola, amigos! Who are you talking to? So, I'm going to cause a diplomatic incident right now. Oh, we didn't in the water. <laughs> Happy. I can't get it across the river. I fired the first <laughs> shot in the new American-Mexican oh War. Oh my God. <laughs> I can definitely hit Mexico from here. Oh. Yay! Let's get out of here before the Mexican army shows up. Oh my God. <laughs> Not too far from Lajitas is this place. This is the uh, Contrabando movie set. There are still some remnants from the movie set. Today, it is part of the Big Bend Ranch State Park, and that becomes a picnic area here. And you have to pay an extra if you want to use it for the day. Definitely a pretty cool place to do a picnic. This is next to the uh, Contrabando Creek, but I think the streets of Laredo is the name of the movie. And let me know if you ever seen it or recognize the setting. It's pretty abandoned, isn't it? Oh, well, there's lots of people here. We made it to Lajitas, and Lajitas is about 15 miles from proper Terlingua. It's supposed to be a ghost town, but it's not what I expected to see in a ghost town. Decades ago, people redeveloped the whole area. They even have a golf resort and spa. <laughs> Lajitas Cemetery is one of the uh, remnants of the ghost town and it looks like an interesting cemetery to explore. That's probably one of the strangest modern cemetery or modern cemeteries that I've ever seen. You go in there and most of the graves are unmarked. The ones that look more modern are marked but uh, a lot of the graves in there are just heaps of stones. So this is the Anglo and Hispanic workers in this town, and I think there's about 130 graves that have been identified in there. But most of them, to a visitor going in, just look like heaps of stone, and you kind of actually have to watch where you're walking. It's interesting. We're a little bit late. We were supposed to meet with the mayor today at 11.30. It's about 11.37 right now, so I don't know if the mayor's gonna take us in or not, but let's go check him out. Excuse me, which one of you is the mayor? Hello. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Clay Henry, who I'm assuming is the one with the horns because this other one is a female. Clay Henry is the duly elected mayor of Lakitas. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you the mayor? I think that's the mayor's wife. The first lady. The first lady goat. So when they have legislation here, does the goat just eat it? <laughs> 
So back in the mid 80s, they had an election and they elected a beer drinking goat to be the mayor of Lajitas. Apparently this is the third generation of mayors, this goat here. Back in the mid 1980s, Major Clay Henry was a famous beer drinker. Visitors fed him up to 40 beers a day and seeing him became a destination in itself. He is a legend of Lajitas. I think Clay Henry III is not really live up to his grandpa because he doesn't really drink beer. Oh, not that I have anything against beer. Um, I just have a problem with giving it away to a goat. Somebody said that. <laughs> okay, we've been here for about five minutes now and we've discovered that this is the female and that's the male. And because the goat's name is Clay Henry, the male is the mayor. Not because it should be a male, but because the name. the name is Clay Henry. Clay Henry is a male name. That's a male, that's the mayor. I just assumed that horns meant male. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Successful meeting with the mayor. He heard our complaints. <laughs> and when I asked him if he would do what he wanted, he said no, and it's just too bad. Uh... Okay, get in, let's go. <laughs> So Lajitas has a general store and also serves as a gas station and they also have a free Wi-Fi here. So if you do need to get connections, this is a good place to just hang out for a little bit. So we're gonna check out what they have inside. Hello. Considering how remote it is, Lajitas general store surprisingly has everything you need. Firewood, frozen pizza, souvenir hats, goat themed t-shirts, and even locally produced coffee from Marfa. Wow, they have a huge selection of alcohol here. <laughs> and they have rows and rows of cold beer and craft beer and wine. It's pretty impressive. Don't expect anything fancy. Everything is unfortunately a little bit more expensive than usual. But they also have a deli, so you can get sandwich or breakfast all day here. Pretty reasonable. Diesel here is $3.50 a gallon. Wow. Let's get far away from that price. <laughs> the landscape here is just stunning, and we have a better appreciation of the beauty of the desert. Off we go to our second destination, Terralingua, and we start our journey here. We're now in Terralingua proper, the actual town of Terralingua, and we're at another cemetery. I promise this is not a cemetery tour. It just happens that there's another unique cemetery here in the area, like this one. <laughs> Terralingua is the largest of three communities, and its cemetery is larger than Lajitas. It's a very interesting cemetery and full of history, if tombs could talk. A lot of people that are buried here were from the Chichos Mining Company, the people who maybe had mining accidents, things like that. Coincidence or irony, I'm not sure what the word is, is that a lot of people that are buried here died of the flu pandemic in 1918. And of course, we're experiencing another pandemic, the next big one right now. So, you know, that's a hundred years ago, 103 years ago. Yeah. Wow. And not too far from the Terlingua Town Center, we ran into these abandoned structures that give you the feeling of an abandoned ghost town. Of course, this has become a popular tourist spot because why wouldn't you visit these eerie ruins when visiting a ghost town? That's on our list. The wasp. The wasp, yeah. So a lot of the stuff that happens in Terlingua probably attracts a lot of the same types of people that might go out into the flat outside of Las Vegas, the Burning Man types, you know, there's art installations kind of everywhere here. Also, these rusty abandoned cars and farm machines are very easy to spot. I have a big chili cook-off here every year, supposedly the home of chili cook-offs around the world. Hmm. There are a few businesses and trading posts and restaurants in Terlingua Town Center. So Terlingua is sold as a ghost town, but it's not really a ghost town anymore. Although there are some remnants of it. You get the ruins that are there, the old rusty vehicles, but really it's 
been turned into more of a base camp for Big Bend National Park. Right now there's lots of restaurants there, there's a couple of places you can drink, there's a medium sized grocery store, RV parks in the area, and a few inhabitants left over. So ghost town, not so much, but actually very interesting. All right, what did you do, Michael? It's the Terralingua Jail. I'm thinking of locking the dog in there. Oh, she just got stabbed, haha. <laughs> okay, definitely don't want to get locked up here. Although somebody did have a party over here. Tons of beer bottles. It's a fun jail, apparently. Oh my. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the mining shaft car. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, the mine shaft itself was blocked off, but the cart is still here. Let's go in. Nope. Okay. Oops. Holy crap, we can't even see the bottom of it. On to the next item on our list. This is on our list. This is a replica of a submarine in the middle of the desert. 593 claimed to be the only submarine west of the Pecos, which is the river here in Texas. And supposedly this is a tribute to a real submarine that was sunk. The owner seems to be very patriotic. The Purple Heart, Wounded Warrior Project, with the dolphins, with the American flag. And he also has a pirate ship on his yard. But unfortunately, this whole place is for sale. Unbelievable. And according to the sign, the name of the 593 submarine is the Passing Wind. So Michael had a really good giggle about it. Oh, Halleth, was that Passing Wind? Uh, oh my goodness. Rough road. I don't want to get in over that. Yep. All right, abandoned plan. I didn't like the angle of the dip down there. I, I mean, I probably could have done it, but I wasn't taking a chance. But at least we saw it from a distance. Base Camp Terlingua. So there's a lot of teepee houses where you could stay. There's a teepee in the desert. That guy, it's a scorpion on the roof. We're at a restaurant right now called La Kiva. La Kiva was sort of an underground Indian home and La Kiva restaurant took over one of the original ones here. La Kiva is one of the more popular restaurants in Terlingua. Unfortunately, it's closed due to COVID. If the restaurant was open right now, you could actually go inside that big door there and go down into the sort of, I guess, basement is probably not the right word, but you could go down there and have a nice meal. So that's La Kiva. Also got a big scorpion on the top, which is on our list. That's the biggest horns I've ever seen. That's what they mean when they say Texas Longhorn, folks. That's impressive. And I just thought it was a statue. I thought it was like an over-exaggerated statue, but it's not. It's huge. What is this place anyway? It's just a ranch, I guess. Last but not least, the third of Terralingua is Study Butte. This is it. This is actually not big at all. So a lot of people come in from the north to this town thinking that this is Terralingua and then, then just turn left to the Big Ben and that's not the case. Study Butte is the home of a big RV park. They do have a bigger grocery store here. The only place in this area where you can get fresh fruits and vegetables. This is our go-to place for provisions. Cottonwood. Cottonwood General Store is much larger than the one in Lajitas and you'll most likely find anything you need here. Frozen food, camping supplies, and most importantly, selected fresh fruit and vegetables. A luxury for this area. They have quite a decent selection here at Cottonwood, but the prices are a little high. The beer's not bad though. Ah yes, we found some good local craft beer to try. Do we have enough hot dogs? Do you want to get one more? Yeah, they're cheap, so why not? It's the one thing here that's actually cheap. Four dollars. It's not bad. Four ninety-five. If you bought this in a grocery store, it'd be a dollar ninety-nine, maybe a dollar more than it needs to be. <laughs> Two ninety-nine. It was a lot more expensive here for sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Twelve ninety-seven. Not too bad of a price. Never mind. Study Butte has a big gas station. And it has places where you can arrange any tours of Big Bend National Park. It's on our list, Jeff. Yep. What is it? 
what do you call it? A metallic sculpture? Like a wire mesh. Wire mesh dinosaur. Yep. We settled in for the night at Garfield Park, not too far from Terlinguist Town Center. Look at the view. Wow. We are surrounded by beauty. Look at this view. It was a magical evening at Terlingua. Just look what the sun is doing to the mountains in the distance, the redness of the cliff faces. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely below freezing. <sighs> Gotta go back in. Yeah, good puppy. For the past couple of nights, we've been staying at a little park in Terralingua called Garfield Park. It's not much, but it's a pretty bare open space where people in vans can stay for free. It's an interesting park because there's cactus all over the place. There's some rock formations. And we even saw a coyote. We didn't get it on film, unfortunately. And Connor woke us up last night because she heard coyotes in the distance. Let's take a walk around and take a look at it. It's a good spot to come out in the morning and watch the sunrise. It's closed, Kana. Little place to build a fire, although we're under a no fire order right now. Every now and then you'll come across some of these painted rocks here that people probably leave behind after they've used the park and stayed here for a while. Hello, Byron Alexander. I guess if you caught a javelina, that's where you roast it. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. An ancient bowl full of ancient cigarette butts. It really is an interesting place to stay. So I'd recommend it if you're a van lifer, come on over here and park for free. Just be quiet and be respectful while you're here. That's it. All right, that's a little tour of Terlingua area. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, click that subscribe button and follow our adventures around North America. And if you want to get a notification every time we post something new, click the bell. Click the bell. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Gracias. Smell that. Okay, or ruin it. Either way. <laughs> Not too far from fajitas. Fajitas. Not too far from lajitas. Hey, Melania. Oh my God. <laughs> Guy goes into a psychiatrist, said, psychiatrist, I have a problem. Some days I think I'm a wigwam. Sometimes I think it's my teepee. Psychiatrist says, I know what your problem is. He said, you're too tense.